So for today's photo shoot, we will be shooting two very different instant film cameras. One is the Polaroid SX70 and the other one is the Insex White. These two have totally different histories when it comes to shooting instant film and we are going to see how the look of the film changes and which Polaroid we like better in the end. So let's get started. <laughs> For this photo shoot I had the immense pleasure of being supported by our lovely hand makeup artist Lena as well as our model Xelia. We tried out a few different looks for this photo shoot but landed on a pretty neutral one to support the overall concept. Okay, so for the light we're going to use today, I'm going to use the Godox flash we have here in our studio with a really big umbrella to create really soft diffused light. So let's set it up. This umbrella really is enormous <laughs> and um, it creates the most beautiful light and we also use it when we're kind of on the go or on the road and we want to create kind of a mini studio setup, we use this umbrella. It's really great. <laughs> but you always have to pay attention in small studios not to kind of destroy everything with this. I'm going to place it pretty straight in front of our model so that there are no unwanted shadows and we have a little bit of natural light coming in from this side but this won't really matter once we use the flash. So on the other side we have our bounce boards on the black side to create a little bit more depth and contrast and yeah I think this light setup is going to work out quite well. Let's see how it goes. As our makeup artist Lena is putting the finishing touches on our model, we are getting ready to start shooting. Now everything is tethered and we are ready to go. Of course, we will be taking some digital imagery as well, simply to make sure that we have enough images to go around so that everyone's portfolio can get a great update. For our next composition, we tried out using different gallery blocks to create different poses for our model and also to help her rearrange the flowers that she has in her hands to create a variety of different portraits. Now that everyone is warmed up, we are ready to take some Polaroids. We started shooting with the SX70 and we actually didn't use any additional light. We only used natural light for this Polaroid. For the second Polaroid, we added a bit of continuous light simply to make the image way sharper and clearer, which worked out quite well, but still these images aren't in perfect condition, but that's actually what we love about shooting Polaroids. Next up we use the Instax White and it already had such a different feel. It felt way more modern and it had so many different settings that you could try out. We added a little bit of flash simply to make the image very sharp and well lit. Here you can see how the circle of the flash pretty much surrounds our model's face and body and the backdrop just seems very dark blue with just this hint of flash look. In the 60s and 70s and generally when people only shot film, Polaroid was actually used in the back of their cameras just to check how the lighting would come out. And now it's just become this kind of 
separate way of taking photographs and kind of how expressing yourself. A lot of people use it for nudes because no one would ever see them in a dark room, which is also a way to go that we didn't do. But especially with the rise of Fuji Instax, a lot of different um, new Polaroid or like Instax film formats have come out as this like Instax Wide or the Instax Mini. But the original is actually this one, the usual Polaroid shape. And in comparison, I really like how both images turned out, but I think that the Polaroid from the SX70 definitely has a more traditional and unique feel, whereas the image quality on the Instax Wide almost has a digital feel to it, even though it is Polaroid. So even though the SX70 Polaroids didn't come out as sharp and it wasn't that easy to handle and not that reliable, I really love how this one turned out and I think it tells way more of a story. Let us know which Polaroid style you like best in the comments down below.